got some hair in my chest a little bit more than before. The taco train is taking me to place number three. We have a drink and a meal in one. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jerry Eats. I'm your friendly neighborhood food vlogger, as always, Jerry Huerta. And it's crazy to think how fast the times have gone. This is episode 18. What have we been doing? We've just been eating great food around Santa Barbara, the Santa Barbara area. It's been so awesome. And so let's keep the good times going, right? I'm at a place, a brand new spot in the Paseo Nuevo area, and it's called Zio and Sweets. They're known for their Italian pastries and gelato. You know how I am about my sweets. And so of course I had to go in there and try it out. Basically everything that their owner gets is from Italy. And so let's stop wasting time. Let me go in there and check it out. The official name of what I got is the Chalda Neapolitana. So that's Italian for Neapolitan waffle. It's great, yeah, it's really great. So I got some strawberry, got some vanilla, and I got some cappuccino. I think that's the best one out of all three for me at this point. I'm not a big coffee person, I really don't drink coffee, but hey, you gotta do it. It's Italian themed, right? The difference between ice cream and gelato is that like milky aftertaste afterwards when you eat the ice cream. I don't have that with this. For those of you who like waffles, you have the crunchiness there, and you got the ice cream on the side ready to go. And if you don't try the gelato, there's a lot of different options you can try as well. For those of you like a, that have a sweet tooth, this is where you gotta go. So I'm gonna finish this baby off, and then I will see you all at the next spot. So see you soon. Welcome back everybody, I'm at place number two now. I'm at a place I'm very familiar with now. It's Vadero Beach Grill out here in Carpinteria, and so, of course I had to come back. Last time, you remember, I focused on the vegan menu they have. Well now, I'm focusing on everything else, basically. They had a little issue, their kitchen caught on fire a while back, and so they were able to fix that issue, and now they're back and running. So, let's stop wasting time, and then we go in there and check it out. Shout out to Badero Grill for hooking it up, as always. I'm gonna go on a food journey here and you're all here with me to see it, so let's not waste any time, let's get started, right? You gotta make sure you get the tartar sauce. Immediately when you try that, the first thing is the crunchiness. You're perfectly battered. The crunchiness is what you want, right? That, that nice crunchiness makes a big difference, and it does immediately with this. Then when you bite into it, it's super soft. It feels like a, a pillow within my mouth, right? It's just so smooth and soft. The golden color of it, it's more of a darker golden color, but it's, it looks perfect as well. I'm a big fan of clubs. So here is the club. I am a part of a, of a club, an eating club, and I'm here eating this club. What a club. It's got plenty of avocado, which is what we all want, right? It's got the chicken, it's got the tomato, it's got the lettuce. There's also bacon, and then you can't miss out with the cheese. I'm a big fan of having things meshed together. A lot of great different flavors together. This is definitely a great sandwich. This might be the best for last, I don't know, but. I'm excited to try this one as well. This is the Badero Burger. The namesake, right? The namesake of the place. First of all, when you see it, it's enticing, right? You're super excited about it. It's a big hammer, what we all want. You bite into it, you taste the avocado, which is awesome, we've been talking about this already. You know I love avocado. You get the bacon, the meat is nice and tender. Tastes awesome. You gotta have some vegetables in there. You know how I am with my vegetables. And then you got the tomatoes, you got the pickles, and then the barbecue sauce. You can't forget about that. Nice and sweet. Definitely makes a big difference. I'm gonna finish eating this food as always. You know, you know what I do. And so I will see you all at the next spot. So see you soon. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm at place number three now. And this place is called Zaytun. If you haven't been there yet, you gotta try it out. It's a great date spot. And so it's one of the only Lebanese places in town and it's been around since 2005, so almost 17 years of bringing great Lebanese food to this area. And as usual, I don't know what I'm gonna be having today, but I know it's gonna be great. So let me stop wasting time and let me go in there and check it out. I didn't know exactly what I was gonna be getting. Obviously, most places I don't know until I actually get out here and do it. First thing is the Farmer's Passion Fruit Cocktail. Ooh, a plethora of flavors in this baby right here. So it has the dried gin, the elderflower lime, which you can taste a little bit of the citrus in there, a little bit of the sourness, which is not bad. It goes kind of really well with everything else. And the passion fruit basil as well, which, like I said, which I think I don't think I've ever had a mix of flavors like this before on a drink. And it's all, I think it's great. It's very refreshing. This is called the halami and cheese. 
I had to make sure I said that. I don't want to butcher that. This is another appetizer they have here, and it's definitely pretty great. It's grilled sheep's cheese. Wow. If we're just being honest right now, I just literally started eating goat cheese last year, and mind blown. It's amazing. And now I just had sheep's cheese, and this is also really great. So who would have thought you can have sheep's cheese? Maybe I've just been hiding under a rock or something. So you mix that cheese with watermelon, which I'm a big fan of watermelon. Like I think it's one of the best fruits out there. It's so refreshing, right? And then you also have the cucumber there is very amazing as well. The salty mix with the sweetness of this, the, the watermelon. It's a good balance there between those two. Yeah, trying new things here today. So it's, I feel good about it. Let's move on to the main course. We're not playing around no more. This is the Mashal Combo. The, the beef is amazing. So they're coming up with the lamb, the beef, and the chicken all in one. I'm like speechless almost. It comes with the garlic sauce as well. We got the hummus, and then you got the baba ganoush. Like, what else do you really want, to be honest with you? What else do you really want in your life? Uh, this is what I want in my life right now. It's awesome. We're in 2022 now. New year, new me. I'm having a good time. I gave you plenty of options to, you know, pick whatever place you want to try out. There's so many great options here in Santa Barbara and also in the area. And so find a spot you like. Hopefully one of these spots that I came to this time around you enjoy and want to go try out. Also, please rate, review, and subscribe to my, my channel. Just go ahead and like, subscribe, rate, tell a friend, tell a family member, all the above. You know, I'm here to help out local businesses. Help me, help them. I want to eat this food. And so I'm going to do that. Make sure you eat your fruits and vegetables, and I will see you all soon.